No, it went over. It did. It was set to 100 years. That's weird. Well, I want to go to large region. Yeah. And let's go to mods. And redo all this. Yay. Better pause. On and off. Squad icons. Uh, crows fix? Sure. Work detail icons. Plant graphics? Sure. Gold or gold? Uh huh. Icy alternate humans? Uh huh. Variations? Metal floor is nice. Food names? Book names? No more hangnail. Shaped gloves? Shaped boots? Uh, this is fine. Yeah, let's just go ahead and create world with this. Make sure everything's good to go. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't mind going back to V Rising, but I just don't... I don't know. I don't really see a point. Not not for me, at least. I don't know. Like, I, I thought the game was good. I thought the game was really fun. It's not something that I want to go back to, though. You know what's weird, though? I've been playing World of Warcraft... <laughs> <laughs> After I've told myself for so long not to. But it's it's only for hardcore. It's only for hardcore. And so far, hardcore has been pretty fun. Uh, let's keep this world. Kind of a... Really easy. You too? Well, why didn't you fucking tell me? Cryptid, I post on my Discord and... I hang you in there all all day and you don't even jump in. Damn. Damn. I see how it is. I see how it is. You wasn't playing hardcore? Why not? It's fun. It's new. Well, it's new. I mean, there's always been the hardcore add-on and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm level 12. I'm doing a mage right now. Oh, fuck you. Go away. If I had mods, if anybody actually cared enough about me to mod my channel. There we go. Fortress. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. And it might might just be it for the first time. Never mind. I'm lurking half the time? Well yeah. That's usually how it how it be though, you know. Ooh. We're playing humans, aren't we? Fuck. Maybe <laughs> the Confederacy of Clinching. <laughs> Maybe we're like Maybe, I don't know, maybe we are um, volcano-worshipping um, humans. Maybe. What's around? We got goblins? Humans, humans, humans. Some gobos? Little light aquifer action? Hmm. Maybe. That might be fun. Kind of warm up in this area. Joyous wilds. We can get some gnomes. What's all this? Thick. Heavily forested. You know what? I do kind of want to be in a forest. Wait, anytime I think of like medieval humans, I just think of a forest. Now there's goblins. Three day travel north. We don't have any dwarves? Where's all the dwarves at? Spurt word. It's a two. Spurt word. Spurt is the word. Wait. I guess those dwarves are just like kind of dead or something. Hold on. 
I don't I don't see dwarves anywhere. At least it doesn't say that there's any dwarves anywhere. Yeah. What? I do, however, want to be close to a tower. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I want to fight some undead. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. Let's do... We can probably just fight some gabos. Some goblins. Goblin these nuts. Uh, you know, this is fine. Temperate Savannah. And let's do Confederacy of Clinching. Nation of Charm. The Born Confederacies. Wait. Oh, these are High Queen, High Queen, or High King. I think we want the High King. The King that is high. The Tomb of Brothers, the Waning Spear. Nice. Wait, the Empire of Shame. Of course. Of course we gotta be with the Empire of Shame. I'm shameful. Okay. Let's do... Ooh. That seems pretty cool. Yo, Blaze of Ice. Boat. Yo, man. Thank you for half a year. Six months, dude. Thank you. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing all right, man. Hope all your dreams are coming true. All your dreams are not memes. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, they are, bro. Uh, let's do like a, let's do like this. Broil cavern? Sure, we've got light, very, very deep soil. Iron, silver. You know what? I do kind of want to be by, like, the ocean. I think that'd be nice. God damn it. I need to look around a bit. Uh, it would be nice if we had, like, a stream that went on. If we had a forest meet and a stream. We have to find it a little bit. How do I become a dwarf? Uh, you just cut, you just cut your legs off at the knee, man. That's it. Super easy. Anyone can do it. Oh, there's dwarves here. It's about damn time. Badlands? No, thank you. What's this? A taiga? I don't think I've ever been in a taiga in this game. It's freezing down here. Ooh. Um. Shit. Oh, man. It'd be nice if one of these like little streams went around here or something. This isn't like a little island or something. Yeah. Yeah, dude. The only place that has dwarves around here. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's a little nutty. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just, let's just go back up here. This is fine. We'll do like an ocean fort some other day. Maybe. We'll find out. Where do I want to be? Like right there? Yeah, fuck. What's this called? The single forest? <laughs> hey, boys, it's single. That's pretty nice. Any any single? Single ladies in here? Come on. Don't be shy. Yeah, let's go here. He humans. Oh, shit. Then let's do... You're a peasant. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna stay a peasant, buddy. We got Mur. We got Mur. Uh, <laughs> release glitter. Nice. We got Fragu Furnace Spring. We got Bell Major Ikoda. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that name. That's fine. We got Mick Mick Copto Jagliter Tonkborn. I know that one. That one's pretty easy. We got <laughs> we got Dick Cap Donkey Council. <laughs> Good old Dick Cap. 
<laughs> what a name. We got Fyodor Garden Trance. Trance. We got Igena Flung Now. No, excuse me. Oh, these are all wonderful people, and I love every last one of them. Uh, yeah, you're you're gonna stay a peasant. What do we have? Soybeans. Check out my dick cap. Animals? Some goosen? What black bears? Hold on. Hold the phone. What else do we have? Ibexes? Ooh. <laughs> Failure, you got it. Failure. Uh, dude, black bear. Grizzly bears. Yo, of course, of course. Big bear, you're iron tough. Big bears got chest like a rug. Nice. Nice. And I guess we're going to get some sewer brew. Maybe. What? What else can we get? Well, we're not going to need wood. I've got plenty of that. Uh... Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, you know, give me some of that sewer brew. That's fine. Give me some of that sweet, sweet sewer brew. That's right. Wait, wait. Is there like, where is it? Whip wine, though. Whip wine. Oh, they don't have it. Well, let's let's get some more sewer brew. There's like. Trash whiskey or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. It's it's something along those lines. Mm -mm -mm. And the fort name is going to be Polished Glides? No, it's not. We're going to go with Shove Kindled? No. Cell Snars? Blushed Blockade? Flute Twigs? Flute Twigs. Uh, Louded Dagger? Fetid Moistened Contender Who are all the dwarves? Humans We're doing humans And you know what? Here, let's do our Carpenter Frogu No longer gonna be Frogu You're gonna be Fay. Oh Hold on, what? It's not letting me. Oh, weird. We'll do that later then. When we um, nickname them. Moistened cult. Oh, I wonder. Let's see. Moist. Moistened. Rear. Cult. Cuck. <gasps> There's cult. Moistened cult. Droner Havor. Yeah. Look at that. Moistened cult. Group name is going to be the Group of Clashing. No, no. Coalition of Combining? The Blunt Group. Oh, I've got something for this. Their symbol. Hold on. Hemp. What? Hold on. Plant. Hemp. Hey! And let's do... Uh, creature? Z oh, come on, come on. Work with me here. Work with me. We're going to do human. Hit plant. And let's do action relation. Let's see. Burning. The burning of a hemp plant. And let's see. I wish it was like, is being cooked. And let's do, um, oh, 
the humans are laughing. And the humans are also uh, melting. No, uh... Let's see. Confused? No, you know, that that's fine. That's fine. We're done. Lovely. Yeah. Perfect. So, our fort is called Moisten Cult. A fine name, by the way. We are the blood group, which their symbol is... It is an image of a hemp plant and humans. The humans are burning the hemp plant. The humans are laughing. Perfect. Yeah. Let's embark. Oh, I don't care. Don't worry about it, Quippy. Don't worry. A human outpost. You have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes. <laughs> don't don't worry about that one. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all Dridnidur Eporg. There are almost no supplies left, but with the stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your humans. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you. But it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the giant cougars get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Droner Chavor. Moisten cult. Strike the earth. Lovely. If I should buy this every time I see a plate I want to play, then I'm learning the learning curve. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Dwarf Fortress has a very... Uh, Dwarf Fortress has a very high learning curve, but it plateaus. Once you get over the learning curve of Dwarf Fortress, then it's basically like you've just mastered the game. Kind of, not really. No, Nobody truly masters this game. However, the learning curve is steep, but it, it's not like it, it's a, a steep hill. You know, it, it, gets, it gets to a steep hill and then it just flattens, you know? All right, let's see what we have here. That's pretty flat. Not bad. So I'm going to be doing a above ground fort, which is going to be nice. Something I, I never do. And you know, Dwarf Fortress is one of those games that once you learn it, it's kind of hard not to, or it's kind of hard to unlearn the game. Uh, where is it? Multi-threading, which is awesome. Uh, wait, tutorials? Where do we have that at? And you can even play this game with enemies turned off, which is really nice, too. And you can change your settings at any point. Just like, if I don't like werebees, I can just turn them off. If I don't like vampires coming in my fort, I can just turn them off. One thing I, I do, however, change is cavern dwellers. However, we're probably not going to be go, going down to the cavern for a little while, so I'm just going to put these at five. Mostly because, like, cavern dwellers, they just... It's not that they're hard. They can just be really annoying. <laughs> Moistened cult, yeah. Well, that's a, that's a fun thing about Dwarf Fortress is that it's highly moddable. You can continuously mod this game. If, if there's not a, a word in the repertoire of, or the, uh, the library of words in, like, whatnot that's in the game, you can change that at any time. Yeah, there is a Pokemon mod, you're right. It's hilarious. e -binies. Oh, where's, where's the... Oh, it might be a DF hack thing. It's it probably is. That's fine. And DF hack is kind of um, in my A right now. Uh, what were we doing? Ah, in pasture. 
Let's go ahead and pasture these animals. Get like a nice big pasture right here. Sign everybody there. All my dogs, not the kitties. Not the kitty cats. Kitty cat patty wax. Yo, and we have a breeding pair of water buffalo too. That's pretty sick. But yeah, once you get over the learning curve, it's it's a pretty easy game. Let's get a nice giant lot or uh, stockpile like right here. Let's do this all custom. Let's turn off stone and wood. Everything else can stay. Oh, and let's just go ahead and turn off the seeds as well. Lovely. I've been thinking about playing Starfield. I mean, it's a good game. Don't get me wrong. Starfield, it's it's a fun game. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it until you absolutely know for sure that you, you want to play it. I, I mean, I played it. I played like six hours of it and then I dropped it. And I was just like, eh. I don't know. It's a, it's a very half-baked game. In my opinion. But, I mean, it's it's one of those games that's obviously a 7 out of 10. However, you know you can put, like, hundreds of hours into the game. Even thousands of hours with mods. Yeah. And I got the game pass so that I can try it. I, I knew for sure that I didn't want to um, put hundreds of hours into the game. Or, not hours, but I, I, I just knew I wasn't going to play the game as much. My entire fortress got done by fucking flat flabebes? Flabebes? What the hell's that? Is that is that what's her face from South Park? Bebe? What what's her name? Something like that. Uh what was her name gonna be? It was like Faye Lear. Failure. Together? Easy easy to spell. Not together, kind of hard for some odd reason. There you go. It's a piece of shit, yeah. Well, it's, that's the thing. Yeah, because didn't Todd Howard go on? He he made like a whole a whole thing about, oh. You know, we're not going to optimize our games. You should just optimize your PC. Or some bullshit like that. Which is, uh... Again, that's bullshit. It's completely bullshit. You know... A as a... As a, you know, game dev... You know, you, you should... You have, you have some... Standards... That you have to uphold. Super easy standards. These fucking things. Oh. Nice. I was if that was porn, I'd have been so upsetty. I didn't realize this was gonna pop up right here, of course. Let's get this apple bottom jeans. Not that it would matter. I feel like I feel like you have to be like a bigger channel. For bannings like to that um, extent, unless like everybody in your chat just like decides to report you, you know. Y'all, I w always wondered how like people get banned, or like how how that like comes to be, you know. There's a there's a motherfucking pool of water right here. Get out of here, dude. There's a pool of water just sitting there. Almond logs. Let's get, um, I guess a fishery. I guess we really don't need that just yet. I do, however, need to get these, um, farms down. My voice is cracking. Yikes. Uh, you know, 
all three will be fine for right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with Starfield at all. I, especially when they have, they have games that are, you know, better. Yet it's a 200 gigabyte game. What the fuck, dude? Actually, it's a 300 gigabyte game. Because, um, the one day patch was like 100 gigs. Saying not to expect that. Oh, it's only because they're a shit dev. That's why. You know, games like Baldur Gate, Baldur's Gate 3 should be the standard. And that's the thing. They're, they're a decent sized team. They're also a decent sized team. And like, didn't take them like half as long. Oh, well, I mean, it took around the same time, I, I suppose. really reporting the same problems well yeah I, I saw somebody with a with a 4090 like crashing and whatnot quite a bit and i have to say if you're if you have a 4090 and you're experiencing crashing oof, that's pretty bad man that's uh that's a problem with the game uh spring let's do some rat weed some rope weeds Rope breed, rope breed, rope breed. That. Oh shit! Which one was this? Winter. Okay. Let's do the rope breed. Oh, rat weed. There we go. Rope breed. There we go. And let's do rye. Fisherberry, prickleberry, and. I don't know. I guess some soybeans. That's fine. Game's like 60 gigs, really. You know, I really wanted to try out Armored Core, but I just never got around to it. I don't really know why. My wife is home. Arrow! Bitter boo. I haven't even ate yet. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Before we do this, hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Get that to zero. So I, I'm thinking about how I'm going to do this for it is I'm going to do it like a hamlet. I'm going to go from like a little hamlet to, you know, a village to a, a city. And we're going to do it that way. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Maybe. We'll find out. Had a big, where all the companions got like a hundred times the romance. Oh, bug. Romance flags? Really? I mean, but, and, and that's the thing. That actually kind of hurt them because, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, saw all the romancing in that game and they were just kind of turned off by that. Which, you know, is understandable. But... I still think it's game of the year. I swear. I fucking swear. By my my right hand. If Starfield gets game of the year. Or it is even nominated. As game of the year. I'm going to lose my shit. I'm going to absolutely lose my shit. That game does not. Without a doubt in my mind deserve game of the year whatsoever it's funny too because like even even all of the um um what do you call them the the ratings that they got they're like oh yeah our game is 10 out of 10 here 10 out of 10 here it's all like like very 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 like small rating companies or like uh, reviewers and everything. I'm like, man, nobody, I, I, I hate to be that guy, but nobody cares about like 
IG in Europe. I'm sorry. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody in their right minds like, oh yeah, I, you, you hear IG in, not IG in Europe. Nobody cares. They're just trying to make a name for themselves. Because Bethesda funds the awards. Well, yeah, that's true. Oh, I'm telling you. I would be livid. I would be truly, truly livid. If I even seen it, seen it nominated. Because it doesn't deserve that at all. What's that? Bow, please. Well, I think there should be an indie. Well, is there is there not an indie category? There should be. Yo, do it, bud. Do it. Don't be shy. <laughs> Go take a shower. Don't be shy. Just do it. You chicken? Huh? Buck, 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 buck. You a chicken? Better go hop in that shower before, uh, I don't know, the boogeyman gets you or something. He's around. Let's go down a few. Yes, I know we're humans. We don't, we don't really do this mining thing, but we, you know, we need stone. Yo, Prater, what's going on, man? Remember, remember the wash is. Get down to the grundle real nice. Think about me when you when you in there. <laughs> what? Think about your pops when you're in there. Tell them how proud how proud you are. To be his son. I don't know what I'm on about. I'm just doing things, man. Just give more shits. It's true, though. Well, that's the thing. Indie projects are always like passion projects. You don't really get a passion project out of a AAA company. You just don't. What, you want me to stream it? Yeah, go on your OnlyFans. Come on. Chop, chop. Let's go. Either one. <laughs> Always wash he is. You moving on to a shower with your dad, Sim? Oh yeah, that's right. That is a that is a a title, man. It is a title. Man, where's the music in this game? What happened? Um, uh, is there like a music frequency? I thought there was something like that. Game. Mod. Mod. Lord, no go, no, go. Balancements. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I love this weapon twist. I'll twist my weapon, Mister. Okay. Oh my God, there's so many. Well, if these get annoying, then. Yeah, you're welcome. I, I almost uh, forgot. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I probably won't have any seconds. I finished up the the roast beefu, the roast beefu. Oh, okay. It's a tater tot casserole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe like show it to the camera. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. If that's not the most American thing you've ever seen, get ready. I get quippy. Send me that recipe. It's super easy. You can whip it up in like under an hour. 
Get the get this swamp. Get this swamp. Wait, excuse me. What? Oh god. Gotta get this swamp ace. Well, that's the thing. Fucking call the J. He's he's in he's in the swampiest part of uh, United States of America. Swamp. He's in this swamp. Come on, build the humans. Get in there. Who's fighting? Big black bear and a badger boar. Nice. Okay. The Ampstone already. Uh, it's just humans. You know, humans are an objective. Are objectively a, an objective. Oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? Red sand. Uh-oh. Well, this just might have the flood. Uh-oh. Wait, I put in that mod. This is bad. Well, keep going. I'm waiting. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to wall this up. This is fine. I was really hoping that we'd, um... I don't know, at least see some uh, stone. What's this? What's what? Oh, it's um aquifer. This this area has a light aquifer, which just means that uh, the walls get a little weepy. Is it the circus? Oh god, no. No, that that's that's I'm not going straight down to the circus. That'd be crazy. What do you think I am out of my mind? You think I, you think I'm insane? Yo, Ligmac, what's going on, dude? It is my famous last words usually. Half the stage is classified as marshland. Is it though? I mean, it. You know, I have to say, every single account I've ever had of being in Indiana was how fucking like wet it was randomly or how like not even just wet or just how disgusting it is normally sorry because i like all of my all of my my like occurrences of um no I I want to say childbirth, but that's not it. All of my occurrences of like. Hold on, wait. I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I guess just childhood. That's the word childhood. See, I haven't ate today. I mean, it's not true. I have ate, but um, it's just like. Anytime I've ever been outside, it's been super muggy. Like, I've been to some really, um, I can't think of the word. All I can think of is moist. Moisture. Damp. Humid. Thank you. I've been to some really humid places on the, on this planet. And Indiana takes the cake. I don't know why. The moist guard. 4% of the state you apparently have lived in all 4% of that. Yeah. The state used to be almost 40% wetlands. See, I, I never knew that. Makes sense, though. Definitely makes sense. Let's keep going down a layer. Hopefully we don't hit caverns, considering we're in elevation 5. somebody's fighting okay I think we can just go ahead and start 
digging. I just keep on digging, digging, digging. What? Let's do that. Go crazy. And then these guys can, like, I don't know, chill out, relax. All the, I mean, I guess we can start um, cutting down some trees. You know, pissing off the, the local elves. And uh, building our little hamlet. I think this would be really nice. Excuse me, I'm gonna be eating. <laughs> I'm gonna be eating. How dare I? If that bothers anybody, let me know. I'll turn off my camera. But yeah, and if anybody has any questions about this game, just let me know. It's one of those games that I can't really explain everything as I go, because there's a lot of things to explain. Like, why is a Ron Hedgehog remains here? It's because we have cats. Cats like to uh, murder things. Let's actually remove this. Bam. That. And let's um, kind of square this around here. That should be fine. Get these animals going around there. Now we've got the beds. Let's do, what else can we make? Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and put down our tables. Let's just get like a nice table chair action over here. Oh, it must be inside. Lame. Let's just put them here. That's fine. Closest material. Bam. Let's get the chowders down. And this is where we're going to put our manager and our uh, bookkeeper. So that they can actually get accurate readings on our stuff and whatnot. So we can start doing... Um, Work orders. Let's go ahead and pick somebody. Ooh, look at this wise man. Scout. Enforcer. Colony leader. Executioner. That's kind of cool. So these are all new names instead of the, the typical dwarf fashion, which is kind of nice. Let's get our bookkeeper. Oh, good old, oh, Faye Lear is going to be our bookkeeper. I think she's going to be great. Or he. Can't really tell. They all have very long hair. And let's get our manager. Bale Mauled Dracota. Nice. And let's go ahead and set up their offices. Bam. Bam. And... Assign them. You can be that. And you can be this one. Cool. Now they're going to get to work. Should be a warrior. Oh, they're all going to be warriors here soon. Excuse me. I'm dying. Excuse me. They're all going to be behind a spear with before you know it. I was going to say without a doubt, but th that wasn't going to sound, you know, Peachy. All right, let's go ahead and destroy the wagon. We also need to get our trade depot up before I forget. I'm going to put the trade depot like, I don't know, man, like right here is fine. Close material. Uh, I don't want them to use my um, my one copper bar. There we go. Wait for these guys to go ahead and chop down these trees so that we can start building some hooses. Uh, the most important thing starting off 
Um, just learning the game, really. Uh, honestly, when it comes to preparing carefully, you can have all of your dwarves be completely unskilled. You can have every single one. In fact, you can start the game without any any kind of supplies whatsoever. It's just, you know, some things you're going to have to probably trade, you know, when um, autumn comes around. But other than that, like, really getting a feel, getting the feel of the game and learning what these buttons do is your main priority in this game. Now, when it comes to, like, where creatures and everything, if, you, if you're learning the game, I highly suggest you just say, enemies off. Just turn them off. Just turn them off. You know, hard economy, just, just turn it back to normal. You will lose a fort, absolutely. You will flood a fort, you will have everybody be, you know, if you have enemies on, you will have werebeast come in and destroy your fort. Just remember, like, learn from your mistakes and keep going. But the best thing to do is learn these buttons right here. Also, another thing is, when it comes to kitchens, you cannot get seeds from anything if you cook them. So if you come into your labor and you hit the kitchen tab, make sure that you're not cooking any of your um, your plants. If it, it will, let me rephrase that. If it can be brewed, don't let it be cooked. Turn that off immediately. That's that's the biggest thing that I can that I can tell you. If it can be brew, if it can be brewed, turn it off. And it'll, whenever it pops up, when you brew like a new item, it'll automatically make it so that you can cook it. Turn that off too. It's a big thing. Yeah, the cat depression spiral. Yeah, the, you know, there's uh, there's ways around those without a doubt. Mosquitoes kidnapping your doors. Oh God. No kidnapping. No, the end. Don't kidnap my doors. Don't kidnap my, my humans. My humans. My humans. Let's go, uh, Bell. You're gonna be Bella. You're gonna be Bella. For right now. Because her name is Bell Maldra Dakota. The name. Oh, yeah, excuse me. This is a man. I can see a little beard in there. Excuse me. You're still Bella. I don't care. <laughs> he has little natural inclination towards music. A poor memory, quite poor focus, and very bad analytical abilities. He is a nervous wreck. He is shameless, absolutely unfazed by the thoughts of others. He feels strong urges and seeks short-term rewards. He can very he can be very single-minded. He is quite comfortable with others that have a difference different appearance or culture. He is stubborn. He is pleased by his own appearance and talents. He has an, an active imagination. He takes offered help and gifts without feeling particularly grateful. He tends not to be swayed by the emotional appeals. He does not easily hate or develop negative feelings. He has a tendency to go it alone without considering the advice of others. He often acts with compassion and he is conflicted by this. Since he has these tendencies as an impedent imp impediment to the quest for power, he's a quest for power. He likes a little excitement now and then, and he is conflicted by this because he considers tranquility preferable to tumult, 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 conceptually. He always snaps his fingers when when greeting someone. He likes working outdoors and grumbles only mildly at inclement weather. This is our first uh, little dude. It's our first little dude. What's the preferences? Uh, likes marble, trifle pewter, bloodstone, guava wood, 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 giant gazelle hoof, knef paper boxes. He likes boxes. Large gems, catapult parts, the words of lacy lens, and the sound of rhythm of larks. When possible, he prefers the consumed soul. What? The hell's that? Like, okay. Hard wheat beer, hemp flour, soybeans. He absolutely detests bats. Sick, dude. Sick. 
You know what? Let's go and check out failure while we're at it. Failure. She's a lady. She has a great feel for social relationships and an amazing spatial sense, the ability to focus in good memory. How important is reading the door descriptions? Uh, not very important. You can you can play the game completely and not you know read or listen to anything of you know, of the sorts in these. The thing about Door Fortress is that it's a huge like lore dump. The entire game is just filled, filled with just information and just like storytelling. Essentially, everybody has their own preferences and thoughts. You can have you can have dwarves go into like such depressions that they commit suicide. This game has literally been like on the AI, like trying to like, I don't, I don't know how to say it, but like, but like basically they, they've said that the dwarves are this most sentient to sentient sentience that AI can get because of how like, um, like, if a dwarf's child dies, it will become depressed. It might not be depressed at the time, but slowly after, you know, some time, it'll, you know, fall into depression and even spiral. And, you know, they're ma in their manic um, spiral. It can lead to other dwarves spiraling and being like, oh, shit, they're, they've just gone in com completely insane. That makes me feel bad. So on and so forth. Like, it's just reading about these things just makes gives the the game a little bit more um body and, and a little bit more emotion a little bit more feels like if you if you don't read this and you have a dwarf die in like a battle you're like ah, i don't care yo libido what's going on man you know you you go going you have your your dwarves or in these in this case humans going to battle one dies you're like ah, i don't care but if you read about them and you learn about them you kind of like get a, a, a like a sense of like belonging, you know? That's why I like to read these because you know it, it makes you actually care for the your dwarves or you know the in this case humans, and uh, yeah, you know it just kind of uh, gives a little uh, role play to it, makes it fun. Y'all, what's going on, Libido? How you doing, man? Let me give you a little shouty outy, a little shouty outy. If you don't, if you guys don't know, Mister Libido, check him out. Check him out. What? What? You're not in here, apparently. Gone. Yeah, it, it says you're not in here. The fuck? What? This person does not exist. I'm staring at you right now. What if we, uh, what? Yeah, strange. Yeah, wh wh what's happening with that? That's weird. Well, anyways, here's the link to their channel. That's, that might be a little bit better. Does that every now and then? Yeah, that's kind of what it seemed to be. Last time I cared for my doors, a mosquito crippled my farmer, kidnapped my one soldier. They can kidnap mosquitoes? Like giant mosquitoes? No, you're good, dude. It's no effort at all. Anyways, back to Fay Lear. She is not the type to fall in love or even develop positive feelings. She is a perfectionist. She is always tense and jittery. She is rarely happy or enthusiastic. She is somewhat uncomfortable around those that appear unusual. Or this is like a complete opposite of um, Bella that we that we've uh, read. She is somewhat uncomfortable around those that appear unusual or live differently from herself. She tends to make a small mess with her own possessions so she's messy she is pleased by her own appearance and talents she does, doesn't handle stress well me neither she is grateful when others 
help her out and tries to return favors. She tends to hang on to grievances. She generally acts impartially and is rarely moved to mercy. She's rarely, she rarely feels discouraged. She does not have a great uh, aesthetic sensitivity. And she's conflicted by this because she holds nature in high regard. She likes working outdoors and grumbles only mildly at inclement weather. Well, you're going to be grumbling quite a bit because this is an outside fort. Enjoy. Is this Dwarven Tender? Yes, it is. Tendorf? Yeah. Solid. All right, can you uh, humans, can we uh, cut down these trees, please? I would uh, really like these trees to be cut down. Burn the forest if you have to. In fact, let's go ahead and staunch that out really quick. Maybe even these two. Because we're going to be wanting some metal here soon. Pretty quickly, actually. Because I, I think if I'm certain, I think there's goblins nearby. Civilizations. The blunt group. I love that. No? No goblins? They're probably like three days north or something like that. that. That usually seems to be the case. What's this? Ooh! Okay. Oh, that's so good. So this is new. Black bear. He's mighty tough black bear. Got a chest like a rug. All right, cool. The goblins be coming for your balls. Watch it. Looks like region, region of ruin. You know, that's a game that I've been wanting to get back to. Excuse me, I'm meeting at the same time. But, um, this is like the first colony sim. Yeah, it's, we got a battle uh, battle log now. Which is really nice. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, this is one of the very first colony sims ever. One of the very first. RimWorld comes from this game. In fact, I'll, I'll be willing to say that every single colony sim is a um, direct copy of this game. Oh, yeah. I mean, you want to see how this game used to look? Feast your eyes, baby. Oh, hell yeah. How's this look? You like that? Can you tell what's what's going on on the screen right now? Isn't that nice? Yo, where's the water? Check out that sweet river going down there. Oh, we got our, uh, we got our first uh, caravan. Yo, check it out. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to show, I'm going to let you know. That's a table. That right there. This bad boy. Oh, we can zoom in now. Let's go, dude. That's a table. That's a table. And that's a chair. Oh, God. Take me back. <laughs> kids these days they, they don't know graphic i mean like these graphics are perfect you know i like these graphics you know i like the ascii graphics i grew up on the ascii graphics i don't mind but um you know this is this is definitely more pleasing to the eye without a doubt in my mind can we can we create our own koganasan what, what's that 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 sounds familiar I just can't really um, put anything to mind. Um, yeah, let's just uh, sell all of our uh, Subaru. We don't have anything. Fuck. Yeah, we don't have much. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Well, let's, let's just go ahead and sell the Quivers. 
Yeah, fucked up.